Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here to film my May favorites. I know it's like a couple days early, but I have a whole box full of stuff here that I want to talk about. Summer's coming, and I've been like switching up some of my products, and we'll get started with a skincare. This is the Manoy Tiki Tahiti Vanilla Lotion that I got from Vitacost, and it's a natural coconut oil, and on the bottom, there is a vanilla bean, and this stuff smells fantastic. I love using this as a moisturizer all over my body. So, great, great moisturizer. Then I have my Beauty Blender, which I love. Um, I don't like it for all foundations, but if it's a drier foundation, this works fantastic. Sorry it's dirty, I used it today. And I used it today with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is a fantastic foundation. It's on my face right now. It looks flawless. I don't know what else to say about it. It just looks flawless. Um, I like, my skin is a little on the dry side because I haven't um, converted into like warmer weather yet. It's still kind of on the verge of being like cold and warm. So I like to put this over a BB cream. Any BB cream will work. But just something to give it a little extra moisture because um, it does have a little bit of a drying effect. Next up is my BB cream, and this is the Leo Ellie Beyond the Solutions BB cream, my favorite BB cream hands down. You can get this on eBay, Amazon, a couple different websites. Fantastic BB cream. Love it. You can wear it under something by itself. Great coverage. I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm sorry it's dirty, but it has a pump, so that's another plus. Love this BB cream. And it's big, and it's lasted me a really long time. The other foundation I have is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Makeup, and I didn't tell you my colors, did I? I'm in 2.0 in this. This only comes in one shade, and this is in, what is it in? Classic Ivory. So another great foundation, lasts all day, no need to touch up, fantastic. Then I have this brush, and this is from crown brush, but Sigma makes one also. It's a pointed um, kabuki. Yeah, pointed kabuki. And this is great for under the eyes. Whenever you're putting on your concealer, it's like you can just dab it on under there and it works great. It's very soft, very easy to use. I just washed it, so love it, love it, love it. Um, then I have the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. This is a great concealer for under the eyes. It comes with a little brush. It clicks up like this. And then you just put it on. It's a brightener. Love it. Um, you can put it on anywhere you want to highlight your face. Then I have the Time Bomb Concealer. I also like this under my eyes. I put this on first. And then after this is in, on, in, whatever. Then I put this on over top. This is to cover up like the dark circles and that's to brighten up the under eyes. That's why there's two. Then I have the Color Whisper um, Lipstick in Lush for Blush. And it's just a nude pink. Nude? It's not nude. It's a pink color. Very pretty. I have the uh, Color Whisper on today in Berry Ready. Love the color whispers. They're great. Excuse me while I grab a tissue. Oh, this is watching. Then I have the Urban Decay. Mine's kind of small. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On um, Eyeliner Pencil in Zero. Love this eyeliner. So smooth. So soft. Love it. Oh, I love all this. This is why it's in my favorites. Uh, then I have this. Models prefer infinite color shadow pencil and the color is down to earth. My friend Deanna sent me this and it's been a favorite since I got it. Just a gorgeous taupe color. You can wear it by itself or as a eyeshadow base. Then I have the MAC Paint Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Chilled on Ice. It looks like this. I have it on today on my eyes underneath Steal a Kitten, which I'll show you in a moment. So there's that. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. It's just a pretty peachy champagne color. Love it. These paint pots are amazing. 
Um, I can't wear the Maybelline color tattoos. I think I said that before. I have an allergic reaction to them, which is not surprising because I have an allergic reaction to almost anything I use. So, um, love that. And De also, Deanna also sent me this Stila palette, and I've been using, it's, sorry, it's dirty. This is Kitten over here. I've been using Kitten like crazy. It goes great over top of the uh, MAC paint pot. There it is there, the kitten. All the colors in this palette are nice, but the kitten is my favorite. Then she also sent me, boy, the thing she sent me this week really made it into my um, May favorites. This blush in Hello Dolly. This is Face of Australia. I shouldn't throw that in here because I don't know if you can get it in the United States at all, like order it off of somewhere. It's just the beautiful pink blush. Looks like this. Let's see if this swatch will pick it up. There it is, swatched. Love this blush. I like the packaging. It's very compact, and I, I just like it a lot. Then I have two nail polishes. The first one is Holographic. Dazzling Pink is the name of it. It's by LA Girl 3D FX. And when you put it on, it's just like a red with holographic, holographic glitter. It's very pretty. And then my last favorite is the Julie G Polish in, what's it called, Cabana Boy. Beautiful blue color, love it. And they're only $3.99 at Rite Aid, so she makes amazing polishes. Then I have three not-so-favorites. Um, the first one is a mascara, and this is CoverGirl Lash Blast Length. It's in a yellow tube, and the wand looks like this. This does nothing for my eyelashes. Um, nothing. So I don't like this at all. Then the other one, I'm surprised. I was very surprised by this. This is the Milani Blush in Coralina. I wanted to like it. It looks like such a pretty color, but it's so full of glitter. I even sat with, it's just so pretty. But why all the glitter? I mean, it is really, really, it's not even shimmer. It is straight up glitter. Let's see if the light can catch that. I even sat one day with my makeup blush brush and tried to brush it off because I thought maybe the glitter, because it's gorgeous, red color. I just sat there and brushed and brushed and brushed and brushed, thinking that the glitter would come off, but it didn't. And I'm so sad about it because I really, really like that color. And the last fail for me is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. And this is N12 Soft Ivory Classic Ivory. This is really a great foundation for someone else. But it is too dewy looking for me. And then it just, the dewiness bleeds right through my setting powder. And I just look like an oily mess. So I don't like this foundation for me. For other people, it, might, it may be great because it does provide nice coverage. It looks really nice. It's just not the foundation for me. So that didn't work. Now, I have one more thing to talk about. And I am so in love with this. And I only got it on Friday. But I had to discuss it. It's my Samsung Galaxy S4. This is the best phone I ever owned. I love this phone. Look how big this screen is. Like, it's huge. I have this pretty case on it, but um, this is a, an amazing phone, and I highly recommend it. If you're out looking for a phone, um, and you want a big screen like this, this is this is an amazing phone. I love it. Uh, so glad I bought it. But that is everything, and um, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.